Welcome and thank you for joining us at Aliation. We specialize in CAD and CAE training, offering extensive internship and placement programs. On behalf of everyone here at Team Aliation, we'd like to extend our heartfelt thanks for your interest in Aliation's Center of Excellence. We are thrilled to welcome you to Aliation's Answers Basic Training Program. Before we delve into the learning process, could we please request you to have a new notebook or register and a pen ready? Creating your own notes will not only aid in understanding the course comprehensively but will also serve as a quick revision tool for any topic, at any time. Session 1, we will be exploring the theory of computer-aided engineering, CAE. In this session, the following topics will be covered. Understanding design validation. Various ways to validate a design. Insight into the analytical method. Delving into the numerical method. Exploration of the experimental method. A glimpse into different numerical methods. Finite element method, FEM. Boundary element method, BEM. Finite volume method, FVM. Finite difference method, FDM. Introduction to computer aided engineering, CAE. Delineating the differences between CAD and CAE. Let's begin with, what is design validation? As we know, various domains such as automobile, marine, aerospace, and consumer products encompass thousands of parts and components. Most of these are accompanied by guarantees or warranties. For any manufacturer to offer a guarantee or warranty on a part or component, several questions must first be addressed. At what load will this component fail? Where will the failure occur? How many loading cycles can the component withstand? Which material is optimal for this particular component? Does the design of the component need any enhancements? And many more. The procedure undertaken to answer these crucial questions is known as design validation. Therefore, design validation assesses whether the components or parts that are going to be manufactured can endure various loading conditions. In other words, design validation is a meticulous process to determine factors such as stresses, displacements, strains, fatigue life, eigenvalues, heat flux, etc., that may or may not impact the components or parts, potentially leading to their failure. There are three ways to validate the design of any parts or components. Analytical, numerical, experimental. Let's explore each of these methods with an example. Consider a long steel scale, fixed at both ends, with force applied at its center. Let's suppose we need to determine the maximum stress and maximum deformation on the steel scale. Analytical method, we have formulas to find these results. If you are utilizing formulas to obtain results, you are using the analytical method. Numerical method, software tools like ANSYS or Hyperworks can be used to derive results. Employing computer or CAE software to secure results indicates the use of the numerical method. Experimental method, you can manufacture the steel scale, fix it at both ends, apply the load at the center, and utilize testing setups to find the results. Conducting physical testing denotes the use of the experimental method. Analytical method. As a manufacturer using the analytical method, you will achieve 100% accurate results for simple components. However, for complex designs, achieving 100% accuracy is challenging. The analytical method relies heavily on existing formulas. If you lack the necessary formulas, results can't be found, necessitating an engineer who is knowledgeable in these formulas. The analytical method can be time-consuming as it involves solving the same equation at multiple locations to gauge results on the entire component. Relying solely on the accuracy of results is risky due to the assumptions made in most formulas, which might not be applicable to your product. Numerical method. This method allows the resolution of real-life, complex problems with faster results, thanks to computer calculations. It offers results on the complete product by using nodes and elements, with CAE software employing the interpolation process to calculate results across the entire domain. This method can provide results even in the absence of a physical component or testing setup, giving approximate results for complex geometries. Experimental method. This method can consider physical or manufacturing errors during testing, yielding more accurate results. However, it is time-consuming and requires expensive setups. It can only be used if you have a physical component and necessitates testing a minimum of 3 to 5 components of the same product to finalize the results. Given the disadvantages inherent in both the analytical and experimental methods, over 30,000 companies prefer using the numerical method to validate their products. In Aliation's Answers Basic Training Program, we will delve into the details of numerical methods. Now, let's explore the different types of numerical methods in detail. There are primarily four types. Finite Element Method, FEM, or Finite Element Analysis, FEA. Boundary Element Method, BEM. Finite Volume Method, FVM. 
Finite Difference Method, FDM. Let's briefly understand each method. The Finite Element Method, FEM, or Finite Element Analysis, FEA, is a numerical method which enables us to acquire results like stresses, deformations, strains, fatigue life, temperature distribution, heat flux, etc. It incorporates analysis like static analysis, transient analysis, dynamic analysis, thermal analysis, nonlinear analysis, inertia relief analysis, and many more. We apply loads such as force, pressure, torque, temperature, moment, and we provide constraints. All these cases fall under FEA. FEA can be used to obtain results under constant, static conditions. It can also be applied when the load is varying over time, in transient or dynamic conditions. FEA is the most widely utilized type of numerical method. In Aliation's ANSYS basic training program, we will cover Static Analysis Inertia Relief Analysis Thermal Stress Analysis In Aliation's ANSYS basic to professional training program, we will explore Static Analysis Transient Analysis Inertia Relief Analysis Accessometric Analysis Contact Analysis Nonlinear Analysis Steady State Thermal Analysis Transient Thermal Analysis Dynamic Analysis Topology Optimization and many more types of analysis in detail. The next method is the Boundary Element Method, BEM. This method is utilized to understand the behavior of a model due to the effects of vibrations. The analyses like Modal Analysis, Response Spectrum Analysis, Frequency Response Analysis, Random Response Analysis, ERP Analysis, fall under the Boundary Element Method. In the Boundary Element Method, we apply loads such as Forces, Pressure, Torque, Moment, Vibrations and we also provide constraints on the model. In BEM, we attain results like displacement, stress, or strain versus frequency, noise produced, energy dissipated. Once these results are obtained, CAE engineers, especially those working in the NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness department, attempt to modify the component based on its functioning. For some components like car doors, we aim to minimize the effects of noise and vibration, while in components like speakers, we attempt to amplify these effects. Therefore, depending on the type of component and its application, the impacts of noise and vibration vary. In Aliation's ANSYS basic training program, we will cover modal analysis. In Aliation's ANSYS basic to professional training program, we will encompass modal analysis, frequency response analysis, response spectrum analysis, random response analysis, ERP analysis, the next method is the finite volume method, FVM. In this method, we aim to understand the influence of one volume on another. Computational fluid dynamics, CFD, analysis falls under the finite volume method, where we explore fluid flow, fluid-fluid interaction, fluid-solid interaction, and more. For instance, to determine how air will distribute around an aerofoil when the air velocity is 80 kmph, we perform an external flow CFD analysis. In CFD analysis, we input variables like velocity, pressure, mass flow rate, temperature, etc. From CFD analysis, we derive outputs like velocity, pressure, temperature, liquid, mass, volume fraction, lift or drag coefficient, etc. In Aliation's ANSYS basic to professional training program, we cover internal flow, external flow, mixed flow analysis. In detail, the final method is the finite difference method, FDM. When a CAE engineer employs two or more numerical methods to obtain a single output, it is known as using the finite difference method, FDM. To understand FDM, let's consider an example where we need to determine the stresses generated due to the flow of air on an airplane wing. It's known that stresses can't be found using the FVM method, in other words, CFD analysis can't be used directly to find stresses. However, we can determine the amount of pressure exerted by air on the airplane wing using CFD external flow analysis, a part of the finite volume method. Once the magnitude and location of the pressure are acquired using CFD analysis, we can then perform static analysis, which is a part of finite element analysis, to find the stresses using that magnitude and location. So, in this example, we have utilized two methods. Finite volume method, FVM. Finite element analysis, FEA to obtain the values of stresses due to the flow of air. This process of using two or more methods to achieve one output is referred to as the finite difference method, FDM. What is computer-aided engineering, CAE? CAE stands for computer-aided engineering. It's a branch of engineering that uses computer software to simulate and analyze how products and systems behave under various loading conditions. 
CAE is crucial for enhancing the design of components, optimizing their performance, durability, safety, and reliability. CAE encompasses several tools and techniques, including computer-aided design, CAD, computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, finite element analysis, FEM, computational fluid dynamics, CFD, and multi-body dynamics, MBD. These tools allow engineers to create virtual prototypes and test them in a simulated environment, eliminating the need for physical testing. This not only reduces development time and cost but also enables engineers to identify and rectify issues before the product is manufactured. Overall, CAE is indispensable in contemporary engineering, finding applications across industries like automobile, aerospace, civil, and marine. Understanding the difference between CAD and CAE while both CAD and CAE are pivotal in engineering, they serve distinct purposes. CAD, which stands for Computer Aided Design, is a software tool used for creating 2D or 3D models of products or parts. It enables designers to form detailed product designs, encompassing dimensions, materials, and other specifications. These designs can subsequently be utilized to generate technical drawings, simulations, and visualizations. CAD is predominantly employed during the initial stages of product design and development. CAE, or computer-aided engineering, is a software tool utilized to simulate and analyze the behaviors of products and systems under varying conditions. It leverages mathematical models and simulations to foresee how products will react in real-world scenarios, allowing engineers to optimize a product's design before it's constructed, thus reducing costs and enhancing performance. CAE is employed in the later stages of product development, once the initial CAD designs have been established. In summary, CAD is leveraged to create the initial design of a product, whereas CAE is utilized to simulate and analyze the behavior of that product, optimizing its performance. Both CAD and CAE are pivotal tools in modern engineering and are frequently used in conjunction throughout the product development process. Thank you for watching Session 1, The Theory of CAE, of Aleation's ANSYS Basic Training Program. In session 2, Theory of FEM, we will explore what FEM is, whether FEA and FEM are different, the advantages of FEA or FEM, the discretization of problems, the reasons for carrying out meshing, what DOF, degree of freedom, is, element shape characteristics. Should you require any updates or additional information from us, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at aliation.com. For more details on CAD and CAE software, do subscribe or follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.